Did you know that the jab is the most important punch in boxing? I remember before fights, my coach would always tell me to start with the jab, finish with the jab. Even before big fights, he would always wrap my jab hand first, just to remind me that the jab is the most important punch in boxing. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to throw a perfect jab. I have my boxing manager and second coach, Nathan Pipitone. He's gonna help me demonstrate the jab today, all right? Get that, I always gotta put the glove in with the, use your left hand first, hey, it's the most important punch. First thing first, you gotta make sure your knees bent, elbows in tight, hands up, front foot flat, just the way I was taught, front foot flat, back foot on the balls of your feet, all right? So, when you throw that jab, in order to get a powerful jab, knees bent, Step, push off your back foot. Now pay attention to this, look. Look, his arm is straight across, he's rotating, right? This is a good stance, he stepped with the front foot. Okay, do it again. All right, now, this is the most important thing we can do in boxing. So any fight he went into, that Tony would go into, he can control a fight just based on that jab. There have been world champions that became world champions just because of that jab, okay? Here we go, jab. Okay, now let's speed it up a little. Again, again, again. Now, he may choose to double that jab up, so now what he's gonna do is a little advanced. He's gonna change a level, throw a jab to my body, and then come up with a jab to the head. Okay, so he's getting under my jab, throw that jab to the body, boom, boom, right there, again. And remember, I always bring the hand back high because you several will get hit with a straight right on top. Make sure the hand come back high. Sorry, Nate, let's go. <laughs> it's real good, but again, he's always bringing that hand back. As a young boxer, it's one of the most important things. Always let one hand touch your chin, okay? So if you pay attention, his right hand is there. When he throws the jab, it comes back, okay? His hands are always up. Very, very important. Look how he's stepping. If you can see his feet, throw that jab. Here's why he's doing it. If if Tony is fighting me, step back. For him to be able to touch my chin, he has to take that step. It puts us in a perfect position for him to land that punch. And also, the jab is important because it helps set up other combinations. You can make some little combinations. Because okay. it helps set up combinations you want to throw, also it helps set up the knockout punch. Okay, jab. One, two. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two. One, two, three. Two, one. Two, one. One. One, one, two. One, one, two. One. One, one. One body, one head. Add the right hand. One body, one head. There you go. Go. There you go. In the mouth. There you go. One, two. One, one. The other important part to this, Tony didn't stay stationary. He moved his head off of the line. It's an advanced maneuver that Tony will teach in future videos. But again, it all starts with the jab. And without that jab, we'll never become a great boxer. Thank you for watching this video. If you know someone who might like this video, please share. Also, like, follow, subscribe below. Peace, I'll see you in the ring.